question. The patient has severe degenerative disc disease of his lumbar spine for quite a few years. Conservative treatment for degenerative disc disease has provided little to no relief for the patient, and he has elected to have a spinal fusion. Okay, so all of that is just background information. That has nothing to do with what we're coding, right? I mean, in real life, we would code the degenerative joint disease as a diagnosis because that's why the patient is getting the surgery. But for our class, we're just coding the surgery. None of that is, has anything to do with what we're coding. Then the next sentence, the patient was taken to the operating room where an open posterior lumbar interbody fusion with a back cage, a anterior column at L2 to L4, L2 to L4 is the area of the lumbar vertebrae that we're working on, right, was performed. The back cage was filled with non-autologous bone graft material. The patient was discharged home days later. So what did we do with our procedure? Well, we did exactly what it said here. An open posterior lumbar interbody fusion with the back cage of the anterior column at L2 to L4. So how does that match a root operation? What is the intent of the procedure here? What are they doing? If we look at this, open is just telling us that they, how they approached the lumbar vertebrae, right? Posterior is the side of the body, anterior would be the front, posterior would be the back. Lumbar is the part of the vertebrae. Um, interbody fusion, that's actually what they did, right? They're fusing those vertebrae. And then um, with the back cage of the anterior column, anterior again is the front. So a lumbar interbody fusion is what the procedure is. That's the intent of the procedure. How does that match to a root operation? I'll give you guys just a minute to see what you think. Go to your appendix, appendix B in the back, and see what root operation you think. Okay, fusion, perfect, good job. So if we look at the root operation definition for fusion, right, it tells us joining together portions of an articular body part, rendering the articular body part immobile. Okay, the explanation is the body part is joined together by fixation device, bone graft, or other means. So did we use a bone graft in our procedure? We did. It tells us that our back cage was filled with non-autologous bone graft material, okay? So if we look at this, we know fusion is our root operation. So again, we're gonna look that up in the front of our PCS code book. We're gonna go to F to fusion. So fusion is on page 65. And then you have to ask yourself again, what did we fuse? What are we fusing? We are fusing the lumbar vertebrae L2 to L4. So if you go to fusion, and then if we go down, we'll see lumbar um, vertebral right there, right? I'm on page 65 in the middle. And you'll see right beside lumbar vertebral, we'll see 
zero S G zero, or and dented under that we see two or more zero S G one, and we did have two or more because L two to L three is considered one, and L three to L four is considered two. Okay, because that's each of those is a vertebral segment. So L2 to L3 is one, L3 to L4 is two. So we're gonna go with two or more, which is telling us is the number zero, and then S, G, and the number one. So our table is gonna be that zero, S, G. So let's flip to that. Okay, so page 578 is where we should be. So zero SG, and then you guys will notice the body part one that it told us to use in the index is in the first row and the second row, right? So now this is, like I explained to you last week, you have to stay in the row that you're in. So we need to, to determine which row we need to be in because you can't be in both. And there's differences, that's why that number is in more than one row. So what I like to do is like a process of elimination. So if I see a number in, or a value in my fourth character, so the first column there, in more than one row, then I go to the next column to see if there's any differences. So let's go to the approach column, character five, and they're all the same, right? Open, percutaneous, or percutaneous endoscopic are in both the first row and the second row. So now we need to go to the sixth value column and see if there's any differences. And there is, right? So let's look at these. We can pick, in the first row, we have seven, J, K, and Z. And the second row there, we have A. So if we look at the device, characters for the first row. Seven is autologous tissue substitute. J is synthetic substitute. A is non-autologous tissue substitute. And Z is no device. And then if we look at the second row, our device character A, interbody fusion device. So what, what one do you guys think we would pick here? Let's again go back to our dictation, right? Back to our op report. And it tells us, again, the patient was taken to the operating room where an open posterior lumbar interbody fusion back cage of the anterior column at L2 to L4 was performed. So a back cage is the interbody fusion device. So we're gonna pick A. So we're gonna be in the second row in that column. The second row has R1, and then of course it's open. And then we're gonna use A for our sixth character. Now we just have to pick our seventh character. This is asking us if it was the anterior approach, anterior column, or posterior approach, anterior column. So again, we go back to our op report, right? And it tells us that we, the patient was taken to the operating room where an open posterior lumbar interbody fusion of the anterior column was performed. So we did a posterior approach of the anterior column, right? So we're gonna pick J. So our code is going to be zero S G one zero A J. Cause you wanna make sure and pick that posterior approach and the anterior column. Let me go back and make sure that you guys all see this. So they did an open posterior lumbar interbody fusion. So what that means is they went into the patient through the back, right? Through the posterior of the patient 
to fix the anterior column. Okay, do you guys have any questions about that before we do our final one? And I, I know we're over time, I do apologize.